the large trials have been launched to look at bisphosphonates to actually prevent recurrences. Some of the smaller earlier trials suggest that this could be done, and then a more recent German study looking at premenopausal women who had ovarian ablation and compared zalendronate to nosalendronate did show about a 30% reduction in the risk of recurrence. However, at the San Antonio breast cancer meeting last December, a much larger study was presented that it included both pre- and postmenopausal women, and again, looking at zoledronate versus no therapy, and did not show any difference. And this was a much larger statistically powered study. It did show a, a difference in a uh, small subset analysis of, uh, well, in a, in not a small subset analysis, but a, a post hoc subset analysis of postmenopausal women. So the thinking there might be that in the setting of estrogen depletion, like in the German study, these patients were on hormonal blockade, and then, of course, in the uh, a larger study, the postmenopausal patients had a benefit that maybe it has something to do with estrogen depletion. But the bottom line is that at the current time, we don't have enough data to be using bisphosphonates as adjuvant therapy. We only should be using it to prevent bone loss and reduce the risk of fracture in patients that already have low bone mineral density.